This video is part 3, so please watch part 1 and 2 before proceeding. Thank you for the long wait. I apologize for my delay. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy! <sighs> well, we'll figure it out, right? Right. It's alright. Oh, don't panic. If you start panicking, I'm going to panic harder. Look, students in there are going to lose it tomorrow morning, and they're going to be dying of thirst first thing. And you're like a walking blood bag. Now you're also an energy core? I don't know how it works in detail, and I don't know how much energy you took, how long it lasts in the human host. I don't know. Huh? Uh, uh, originally? I don't know how the energy was contained originally. I I've never really been inside the fourth mansion. We always said it was haunted, so we never really went in. And after being steering representative, I realized that it's an energy core. I mean, we sort of did sense energy from it long before, but no one really knew its significance. I, I mean, perhaps it was underground, perhaps it's in a case. Sorry, I don't know all that much. I just know that we've been warned to keep humans, especially, away from it. All right. I'm going to make a call. Stay right here, okay? Oh, you know what? Here, give me your hand. There we go. Now, I'll make sure you don't go anywhere. Strong enough? The only reason I wasn't strong enough to push you away from the fourth mansion was because this energy core was the one pulling you in. I'm nowhere near as strong as that energy core. Wait. You have a point. You have the energy core now. Huh. Does that mean that you're stronger than me now? Oh, we'll figure this out later. Hey, Michelle? Huh? <laughs> yeah. The worst already happened. What can go wrong now? Can you please notify the principal about this too? Just don't tell any other girls though. Especially your roommate Abigail. She has the biggest mouth of all girls and I know she can never keep a secret. So sneak out and then knock on the principal's door. I'll take him to the attic. She's probably still there finalizing some risk assessment due tomorrow. Thank you. Don't worry, I'll handle it. <sighs> I'm student representative after all. Don't worry about me, I can resist him. Hopefully. Okay. I know this is going to sound like I'm stripping you naked from your human rights, but I need you to come with me to the furthest, safest, locked room located in the school. And it's the most suitable place I can think of is, um, <laughs> the attic in the library. It's where we keep cool artifacts from the past. Just don't touch anything while you're up there. Eat you? Oh dear me, I am no murderer. I won't do anything to you up in the attic, don't you worry. I'm just as scared as you are, because I don't know what this means for our future. Now that you've got the energy core. Ah. Oh. Well, aren't you a special kid? I'm not too sure what kind of treasures librarians like to keep up there. I'm only authorized to go in to retrieve stuff the teacher wants. And they are usually really old books. Come on. Safe? I'm not sure, but everything has a first time, right? Let's go. 
I'll be guarding you in case some girl decides it's time for a midnight snack. And... Sorry. I lost it back there. I was rude to you. My apologies. I didn't mean to. Come on, let's go. Calm? I am not calm. I'm just accepting things as they are. And currently, you happen to be the life source we are relying on. So you better stay healthy and away from harm. Huh? Command? <laughs> Who do you think you are? Commanding me around? <laughs> That's not happening. Huh? Seriously? It's 9.30 p.m. The chocolate mousses would have been all taken already. No, don't look at me like that. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have apologized for being mean to you back then, calling you a lamp attracting moths. Die? Oh dear, we can't have you dying. Oh. Ah. I see what you're doing here. You're using me to your advantage, huh? Because I and we rely on you. You think you have the power to command me around now, huh? <laughs> well, I refuse to be your maid. Don't worry, you'll live. I hope. I mean, I've never done this before. I'm only 164 years old. But at least you'll be kept alive under my watch without your silly requests. Indeed, you're still a kid, just a little baby. <laughs> That's right. So stop mumbling about cake and come on. Don't make me drag you. You gotta respect your elders. I'm older than you by a lot. I'm probably gonna get expelled. Coming! Gosh, you walk fast with its long legs. <sighs> Nearly there. Oh, okay, yes, I said that ten minutes ago. The attic is really up high, all right? Oh, finally, there it is. Uh, really? Another set of stairs. Why? <clears throat> you seem like you have a lot of energy. Is it because you absorbed an energy core? <clears throat> well then, can you drag me? <laughs> no, 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 it's fine, I'm joking. <sighs> Let's keep on going. It's a long way, I know. Here, the lime green door into the attic. <laughs> no, there shouldn't be another set of stairs after this door. If there is, I'll, I'll blow up. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, gosh. <laughs> this place sucks. Oh. The last time I was in here was only a few months ago. It wasn't this dusty. Oh, at least it's got a bathroom and a study area. Oh, and it has a wonderful window ceiling. So until we find out what to do when the authorities come tomorrow, this will have to do. You'll be stuck with me for the rest of the night. You better behave yourself. <laughs> or what? Are you really going to ask that? No matter how annoying I can be, how weak I can seem... I can still bite through your skin and make you bleed without making you die. 
Oh, now you walk back. Now you're scared. What happened to all that spirit you had earlier? Don't make me annoyed. I'm really tired today. So until we find out what to do, this state of being stuck will have to do. Oh, by authorities previously, I just met the principal and staff and maybe human and non-human regulation committee. Oh, I know it's an attic and it's cold and it sucks, but we can't have 3,000 girls lined up to kill you, suck you dry tomorrow morning, okay? If we found those stairs tedious, so will they. I bet they'd give up halfway. Plus, the further you are from them, the less they can sense your location via your energy and blood. Well, that's my theory, at least. Me? Oh, don't worry about me. Ah, oh, sure, I'm attracted to the energy that is now on you, but I'm good at resisting, I think. Well, compared to the other girls, I definitely am. Hmm? A bed? Ah, oh, well, you're right, we're gonna need a bed somewhere. Desk. Well, maybe if we push these two desks together, then we can lay on it and get some rest. There we go. Oh. Lay on the table with me. Here, I'll take this side. We even get a starry night view. Quite romantic, if it were, under different circumstances. All right, I'll lock the door. I'll guard the attic tonight. Yeah, all night. Can you believe it? I'm pulling an all-nighter just for you. So you better be grateful and thank me later. I'm going to make sure no one tries to come eat you. And... Um... If tonight, by any chance, that I start acting weird or try to get to you... Uh... Oh, here. A globe made of gold. Oh, what? It works. Yeah, it's heavy. That's the point. <laughs> what are you supposed to do with it? Dear old me, I don't know. Smack me in the head? Don't let me get too close to you. If I do, don't hesitate to knock me out. I give you consent for that. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you're thinking that ahead. What if the authorities find me dead? All right, all right. You're quite a plotter, aren't you? Ah, oh, here. Paper and pen. I'll write a disclaimer. <laughs> so, we've got the whole night. Wow. This is the first time I slept next to someone. Honestly, it's kind of weird. Every time I slept, I always roll around a lot. So if I smack you halfway, I'm so sorry. I mean, there's only these two small desks, and the ground's really dusty. No, 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 it's okay. It's fine, we're sharing a desk bed table thing. <laughs> you don't have to go to the ground. Don't worry about it. I mean, I don't mind if you don't mind. I can go on the ground, if it makes you feel safer. Let me interrogate you. I haven't talked to a guy in so long. Is it true that you guys all have dirty bedrooms? Like, really messy, nasty ones. <laughs> now you're not talking to me, huh? Alright, alright, go to sleep then.
Sorry we got you into this mess. I don't know what to do. But you sure do smell great. <laughs> oh, getting all tense now, huh? That sure woke you up. Oh, don't worry. The golden globe you're holding sure threatens me. I already feel my head aching. Okay, okay. How about this? To make you feel safer, I'll go sleep by the door. Do you feel any safer? Nah, it's all right. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry about it. You sleep there. It's best if we have some distance. I mean, maybe I was just taking advantage of you. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Please, don't take me seriously. Especially not at night. You know, there's this thing that people say, that at night you speak the truth. Alright, go to sleep then if you don't want to talk to me. Tomorrow the authorities will be here, so probably run some blood tests. <laughs> I hope you like needles. Good night. I hope you have a sweet dream. Sedated? You guys knocked him out? That's too unfair. At least ask his opinion before this happens. You're right, miss. Him being human means he'll only have another 80 years or so to live. But if we feed him royalty blood, my blood, he'll live at least to a thousand and have the ability to self-heal in case the energy core starts eating him inside out. <laughs> I see it now. Is that why we call the authorities? <laughs> In case he struggles or runs away, huh? Open his mouth. May I use this knife? I'm sorry. Say goodbye to your old life. You're coming with us now. Thank you for staying with me till the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I can't wait to see you again.